Hi guys, I'm Pete from Don't Tell The Wife and this is the Ares A9 SMG. Just looking at this gun straight away and you can see it cries out to be used for CQB games. Small and compact but with quite a punch to it. The gun itself, the upper receiver is full metal whereas the lower is polymer so it's got a nice weight to it. You can feel something in your hands but at the same time it's not going to weigh you down too much. At the back of the gun you've got an extending buttstock three positions depending on how you want to play. So you can have it fully extended like this, or put it all the way in and use it like a kind of large pistol. On the back of the gun you've also got sling mounts on the left and the right side, so it doesn't matter if you're lefty or righty, you've got the position to use it on your single point. At the top of the gun quickly you do have some adjustable flip up iron sights, and also a full length rail system for your optics along the top. The gun is fully ambidextrous, so it doesn't matter if you're lefty or righty, all the controls on one side, are the same on the other. So you've got your fire selector here, charging handle on both sides, and of course, release as well. Charging handle will reveal your rotary hop system. And of course, like I said, click it down when you're done adjusting your hop and good to go. The gun does come with three magazines, a large 110 round, a medium 85 round and a small 65 round. So depending on what you like the look of, you've got the choice there. They haven't released any high cap mags for the gun, so you are going to be limited to the mid and low cap style mags that they've got at the moment. The one problem I found is the 110 round mags are quite stiff to get out and put back in. Now I don't know whether I've got a dodgy mag or they've got a problem with the 110 rounds, so just be warned if you're looking to purchase a few more. At the front of the gun you have got some rail systems on your 3, 6 and your 9 o'clock. Now the side ones on your left and right are polymers and they can be taken off, whereas the bottom one on your 6 o'clock is full metal and is actually made into the upper receiver itself, so you can't take that off. Ares have also released a suppressor for the gun and to be honest, putting the suppressor on the gun makes it look so much nicer and I think it's worth it. It just adds that little bit extra length and it makes it look a lot nicer. So I've just put the suppressor on and straight away it adds a bit of length to the gun. It looks meaner and I absolutely love it. There's no inner barrel in the suppressor itself so it's not going to change anything function wise. It's purely for cosmetic and it works so well. Looking inside the gun quickly it does come with a version 2 gearbox and it's the Ares EFC so it's the fire control system. If you've got the EFC program card you can change the fire selectors to the three round burst or whatever you want. Also, like I said before, rotary hop system on the side and a tiny inner barrel. Battery housing is all the way along the top here, so it's designed for your stick style batteries. 7.4s, 11.1s, there's plenty of room in there to get them in as long as they are the stick style and not your nunchucks. What you do, take out the back pin, your buttstock's going to come off and it's going to expose a mini Tamiya connection. Below that, it's also going to show you where the quick change spring system is, so if you need to change your FPS, you can, no problems. So that's the gun, let's go shoot it on the range. So we're back on the range again, got the usual tests, quick chrono just to see the FPS and also I'm going to do the rounds per second on a 7.4 and 11.1 as this can take it. I'm going to do a few shots down range onto the targets just to see what the grouping's like and also I want to see if there's any difference with the suppressor on or off for the noise. I'm guessing not but I just want to be sure. For the chrono I'm using 0.2 gram BBs. Eleven point five rounds a second. Seventeen point one.
So first 10 shots, as you can see, had the iron sights flipped up and that pushed the shots right down below underneath the target itself. Second 10 shots, as you can see on the right hand side, most of them were hitting the target but nowhere near center of mass like it should be. So obviously this is pushing to the right a little bit or I'm just terrible at shooting. Let's go with the terrible at shooting part. So straight away, the buttstock is just the right length for me. Rubberized grip on the end is making it a lot more nice than I thought it would be, so I'm happy about that. The problem I have got is, because this is such a short gun, I'm holding the mag and I normally hold the barrel there, but if I do that, as you can see, I might run the risk of shooting myself in the thumb and I won't be happy. Other than that, because of the ETU in the gearbox, it's very nice and easy to get the next shot down range, so you haven't got much of a trigger pull at all. Just like that. Follow-up shots are going to be nice, clean and crisp. It's actually quite nice to shoot, so let's go to the next test. Now to see if the suppressor actually does anything. So, without the suppressor. Right, with the suppressor on. quieter but you've got a nice little tinny sound to it. I kind of like that. So there we have it. FPS wise you're looking about 300 mark. It's perfect for CQB. If you're going to use this as a woodland outdoor gun you can change the FPS. You've got the quick change spring system there so you don't have to go into the gearbox completely and just mess around with that. Accuracy not a problem. It's an SMG. It's not going to be pinpoint like a sniper. Although some snipers I've seen are not exactly that pinpoint either. And personally, the look, the feel, the way this holds, I love it. So until next time, thanks for watching guys.